darlings, and welcome back to Marzi's Haunted Mansion, where we talk about all things creepy and unusual, darlings. Where it's Halloween all year, in our world. Actually, every day in our world. <laughs> Today, darlings, our whole topic is going to be about... Drum roll, please. Hmm? Elizabeth Bathory, have you heard of her? Well, darlings, she was considered the first vampire. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Let's talk spooky, shall we, darlings? <laughs> Dear Elizabeth Bathory, darlings, was born in 1560 in Transylvania. She was born into a family with knights, kings, and cardinals, and judges. As a few of her relatives, darlings, had different outlooks and different views on certain things. As one of her uncles, darlings, actually sat down and took the time out to teach her Satanism. And then her auntie took the time out and taught her sadomasochism. At the age of 15, darlings, Elizabeth Bathory was married to a man named Count Nadi. The interesting couple, darling, moved in and settled in to the Cessie's castle. I hope I'm saying that right. As her darling husband wanted to satisfy his wife by making a torture chamber in the castle by her commands and animizing each little thing to go inside there to make it her dream torture chamber. My torture chamber would be like tying them up and then wrapping a cool little cupcake onto a rope and then like settling it down and then picking it back up like letting it touch their mouth but not really <laughs> just kidding <laughs> rental advisor this gets very gruesome and very detailed so if you don't like anything remotely bloody or insanely crazy things that can be quite on the erotic side then you must cover your ears. <laughs> Let's get on to the torturous things she would do for fun. So what she would do to her peasant girls, only girls, what she would do is she would drive needles into the fingers of her peasant girls and she would sting them all the way. Well, sting them, yeah, basically. She would definitely poke them. And then all of a sudden, she would also tie them up and smear honey all over their bodies for the ants and the bees to feast on them until they become flesh, be until they become rotten and, well, not rotten, maybe more like fleshy because what she used to do, well, we'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> and darlings, her husband, her darling husband was actually in on this as well. But he actually died in the 1600s. Elizabeth Bathory actually became worse after her husband passed away. Soon after her husband passed away, her torturous acts became more like a horror movie, basically. Anyway, darling, with the help of her nurse, her name was Elena Ho and... She also got helped by with a witch, a local witch nearby, and her name was Reda Sanstis. I really hope I'm pronouncing these correctly. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm not. <laughs> Bathory started abducting girls so she can torture and kill. As witnesses said that Bathory would bite off chunks of her victims, so she would bite off their skin, so chunks of the skin. So one poor girl was forced to go into the kitchen and cook her own skin and was forced to eat it in front of Bathory. As sadly, this sounds horrible, but these are things that people said back then that they saw Bathory do to these poor victims. And one of them was that they were stripped down to the core and 
were forced to get into the most freezing bath ever until they froze to death. They also said that her pastime was the thing that she loved most of doing to her victims were grabbing scissors and cutting the slits of their fingers one by one by one. And I think that's crazy. So she would cut, she would open their fingers and cut between and slit. So yeah, that is pretty gruesome. She was very torturous, very torturous. She would tie their lips together and she would cut off their skin with scissors. So cut off their noses and then cut off their flesh and then whip them, excuse me, <laughs> and then whip them with spikes on the, on the whip. And then she would sorry this is ex explicit um she would bite their bosoms and then put fire under their personals and yikes <laughs> oh my god yeah but that's what she would do and yeah a lot of the things that she would do to these girls were very how do you say sexual motivation i believe as a lot of the people that lived with bathory claim that she was a cannibalism as well as they said that they saw her having sex with the devil himself so darlings let's talk about why she would do this to her girl victims and why does she only have women and girls, well girls basically, for her servants? Was because what she did, darlings, was she would take the body and drain the young girl's victim's blood out of her body and into a bucket or whatever, or into her tub. And what she would do is she would bathe in it to keep her youth. So that's pretty interesting as well. Like she thought that Bathing in young women's blood would basically freeze her youth. So it would make her skin pure and make her skin beautiful and stay young forever. I mean, I guess they do say that vampires do stay young forever. But, you know, darlings, she did that to her girl servants and it was just horrible. And I mean, really horrible. I mean... Yeah, she's basically like Dracula. As the torturous thing she's done, darlings, gave her the nickname Blood Countless. And they also said back then is that they were like, oh boy, she must be a vampire. So, yes. As she was charged of killing 80 girls, but then somebody snitched on her and said that Bathory had a book of all her victims, the names and um, how many that she killed in order. So she had a book of them. And so it actually came out to be that she tortured and killed 650 women or girls. This book or diary is appeared to be only a legend, but you never know, it could actually be out there somewhere. The nurse that was working as a wet nurse and the witch that, you know, came in together with Bathory and worked together, they were accused of witchcraft and burned at the stake. And the only reason why, darling, she got caught doing her vicious acts was because King Mathis caught her actually taking some of the victims as the daughter's nobles so so some of the girls that she kidnapped belonged to noble family she was getting judged in 1610 darlings she was actually accused of doing the most gruesome things to her victims so she was found guilty for her sentence darlings she was confined in her castle, Cassette, until her death. So imagine being in there until your death. I mean, confined. That was her sentence. 
interesting darlings that's the end of our story today darlings and thank you so much for watching that includes our spooky unusual crazy erotic story for today <laughs> if you like the content i'm talking about please press a like and if you want to hear more stories and creepy stories then subscribe at the bottom here <laughs> and that will notify you when i get a new youtube video up darlings on another spooky tale or story or history <laughs> so darlings it was really nice talking to you and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day darlings because i know i'm gonna go eat something yummy in the kitchen i'm quite hungry <laughs> some cupcakes you know after my torturous act would be swinging cupcakes in front of people's faces i think i'm gonna go enjoying myself with some cupcakes <laughs> what <laughs>